There are people who believe that they have a God-given right to rule over others. They believe that their outward appearance is superior to all others. They harbor selfish ambitions to be rich and to have power over what they describe as common people. They lie, cheat, steal, strangle, stab and slash their way to power. They believe that their actual willpower, what the British occultist Alistair Crowley described as the will of Thelema, the royal will, must be obeyed. One of the most popular secret societies in Victorian London was the Golden Dawn. Amongst its membership taking part in magical ceremonies was the author Bram Stoker. His most famous novel is Dracula. The vampirish nature of royal killers is renowned throughout history. Bram Stoker studied the career of psychopath Prince Vlad Dracul, who ruled Wallachia in the 15th century. Dracul means dragon. Prince Vlad was initiated into the royal court of the dragon by his father, which launched the young prince on a bloodthirsty sadistic career, which saw him employ every form of torture and even force political prisoners to eat each other.
magicians and mediums who consult with spirits have always been employed by the royal elite. In medieval Britain, Dr. John Dee was consulted regularly by Queen Elizabeth I. At the British Museum in London, we see the dark mirror which John Dee used to see or scry the faces of spirits. Dee's ability to communicate with spirits led him to be employed as a spy, developing psychic espionage techniques, which we now call remote viewing. John Dee attended Trinity College in Cambridge, which became a place where occultists and the world of spies were intertwined. Alistair Crowley also attended Trinity College. In 1904, he wrote an introduction to an ancient book of spells called the Goetia. Soon after, Alistair Crowley followed the footsteps of John Dee and worked as a spy for Her Majesty's Secret Intelligence Service, MI5. Dr. John Dee was secretly initiated into the secrets of the Kabbalah by Rabbi Lowe in the 1500s. The Kabbalah offers a root map which is called the Tree of Life. Discarnate spirits, some angelic, some evil, occupy each point on the Tree of Life. These spirits can be called forth and invoked to serve the magician. Medieval astrologers and Kabbalists such as John Dee were hired by monarchs to plan their wars or to experiment with alchemy, trying to transform base metals into gold and thus increase the already spectacular wealth of the monarchy. Elizabethan magician and spy John Dee was born in 1527. John Dee wrote many diaries listing the rituals and ceremonies which he performed in order to have conversations with angels and demons. John Dee was astrologer royal to Queen Elizabeth I and used the same magical grimoire texts as the Knights Templar. Dee kept a giant library of occult books which originated in ancient Babylon and Egypt. Between 1581 and 1583, John Dee wrote five books of mysteries. These are now preserved at the British Museum. John Dee's mystery books are concerned with a special system of magic known as Heptarchia. The spirits dictated immense amounts of information to John Dee and his psychic collaborator, Edward Kelly. Edward Kelly was a psychic medium, and the two of them engaged in reanimating dead corpses, a form of magic known as necromancy, and they attempted to transmute metals into gold, an ancient magical art called alchemy. Two entire books of spirit messages were dictated to Dee and Kelly, called the Book of Logeth and the Book of the Speech from God. 
the spirits spoke in a strange language which John Dee called Enochian. The spirits told Dee the magical sounds and words by which God himself created the universe. Between May the 28th, 1583 and September the 7th, 1607, John Dee and Edward Kelly started to receive very specific information from spirits, which included instructions on how to build a great table of the earth. This occult device was used in conjunction with specific magical sounds known as keys, which summoned spirits to Dee and Kelly. The spirits explained that planet Earth was divided into 48 regions, and each region was governed by a planetary spirit. John Dee informed his employer, Queen Elizabeth I, that any country of the world could be placed under their command simply by invoking the spirit which resided in that particular part of the world. The royal political elite, such as Emperor Rudolf and Elizabeth I, employed John Dee to summon the spirits. According to John Dee, the spirits summoned using the grimoire texts recommended creating a new world order, where the armies and navy of Great Britain were sent out to conquer the Americas, India, Southeast Asia, and Australasia. It is true to say that the global superstate now planned by the United Nations, European Union government, otherwise known as the New World Order, is a plan which was inspired by demons and spirits originally conjured in the Elizabethan era by Dr. John Dee. John Dee wrote a manifesto for world domination, which became the single goal of the elite, a plan to enslave the world into a psychic dictatorship and to create a single one world government ruled from Britain using magic. <laughs> 